67-year-old man found alive after crashing his car and spending six days trapped in what you can see there, the bottom of a 200-foot ravine. LeBeau's blue car had landed next to a silver one from a completely separate accident. The driver of that other car hadn't been so lucky. I want to confirm we're getting together tomorrow. And he goes, I will be going to get my massage Saturday morning and then 24-hour fitness. And loving, loves and kisses. And then within seconds, oh man, it was over. Going straight down for somewhere, I can't see nothing at the bottom until I hear a big thunder. Uh, Sunday afternoon, I called his uh, cell phone and it went to voicemail. Leave, oh my God, this pain under here was like, I was dying. My dad would never not call his kids. We have my dad that's missing. Um, I don't have a police report because they said it's gonna take two to three days. We don't got time to wait. And it just by the time the fourth day, the fifth, fifth day, and then the sixth day, we knew something was wrong. Car go by or whatever, I'm screaming, help, 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 look down. I just put my hand on her desk and I leaned over at her and I said, I am praying to God. Your dad was last on the phone call on the 126 heading back home. Then we decided is that we were to get up early and then drive to Oxnard. All of us, just a big caravan of people. Then they came to the house. We all said a prayer. Please, if he's banged up, he's broken, give our family peace. And I was worried that if I laid down, it's over. getting together. We cannot wait anymore. There's something wrong. And I'm praying. Find me for just a little sleep. I, I felt hot and I felt warm in my chest. I can't explain it. Help! And I said, Dad, is that you? I said, don't come down here. It's too dangerous. Dad, we're going to be there. We're going to be there. Just hang on. The one guy just hold on, we're all, we're gonna make it. The biggest thing of all is that I can turn around to see all my kids. It's unusual for someone to survive in these circumstances.